last time on Ultimate Cowboy Showdown. Fourteen cowboys moved into the Powderhorn Ranch in Douglas, Wyoming. This place just keeps going forever. How you doing, Hetty? Nice to meet you. Keaton Marger. My goal in this is I'm going to make alliances. This is what's going to carry you further on. The blue team struggled to communicate. You can crack the gate on the other side. Y'all crazy as heck trying to do that. Diamond Jim emerged as the leader of the green team. Fastest way to move cattle, undeniably, is slowly. A good leader does nothing, because the people that are underneath him that are working, heck, they make my job easy. And in the end, Diamond Jim's leadership led him to victory. Green team, you're safe from elimination tonight. Nobody's going home. Congratulations, go sit on the fence. Thank you, Thank you sir. We were 10 minutes faster than the other team. Yes. Southern gate's open! A costly mistake sent Cody Trailer packing. I can't tell you enough, Cody, about tying a gate. Let me tell you something, you're lucky to still be here tonight out there in the real crew. You'd have went home today. Coach Trailer, you done here, my man. Pack your personals and hit the trail. And now, there are 13 cowboys left. Who will ride on and who will be sent home in the next elimination? Only one will take home the $50,000 worth of cattle, the Air Equip 87 Series Q-Catch Cattle Chute, and their new Healer Portable Corral. Who will win? The Ultimate Cowboy Showdown. It's a new morning in Douglas, Wyoming, and the Cowboys have been summoned to the Bald Knob Meadow for their first immunity buckle challenge. This Wyoming weather is unpredictable. They said, you don't like it, wait a little bit. They wasn't joking. You get here, you get snow one day, 30 something degrees, and today we wake up, you get almost 60 degrees and the sun's shining, all the snow's gone. Today's our first immunity challenge. There's 13 of us left and everybody's biting at the bit. This immunity buckle challenge means a lot to everybody right now, because once you have that immunity buckle on your belt, you can sit back, relax, and get ahead. Morning. 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 All right, Cowboys, welcome to your first immunity buckle challenge. This is a three-part challenge. First up, quarter mile ranch race. All 13 of you are gonna line up behind your saddles. On go, you're gonna grab your saddles, run to your horse, saddle up, ride to the finish line. Simple as that. The top six Cowboys will move on, everybody else is out. The next leg is a barrel hay race a set course to go around two barrels to three bales of hay that have a rope on top of each bale. The three cowboys who grab those ropes first will move on to Old West Trivia. I'm not very good at trivia. I'm pretty smart, I read a lot, but who knows what kind of questions they're gonna ask. Have my fingers crossed. First cowboy to get three answers right will receive this Outlaw Spirit Immunity Buckle, and you'll be safe from elimination in the next challenge. Guarantee. Helping me judge and watch over you guys. My old friend, Buddy Schnaufer, owner of the BS Cattle Company, and my compadre from the first two seasons, he's back with us, 15-time NFR qualifier, Cash Myers. Y'all head to the starting line. The ranch race. You 13 will saddle and mount your horses and race a quarter mile stretch. The first six advance. All right, Cowboys, for the immunity buckle. Go. It's going to be important who gets saddled first. Whoa, 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 whoa. They got to get their saddles on quickly, but they got to be careful not to spook their horses. Oh, hey, oh. Chris Baker's horse got loose. Oh, man. You got a horse coming right here loose? So while everybody's getting going there, I'm over here chasing my horse. Oh, buddy. I'm looking around like, oh my, not here, not now. So uh, that was it, I was out. Buck's on his horse and on his way to the finish line. We'll make sure he's got a big jump. Here comes Sarah, Cody, and Sal right behind him. And the race is on. Who's going to get there? No. 
Cody's got a remount. Well, that's gonna set Cody back. It was a heck of a hit. Got back up as fast as I could and tie y'all back to the race. We've got Buck in first place. So that's pretty awesome. I just won the first round. We're gonna go on to the second one and win that one too. Sal's gonna be number two. I'm blowing past Sarah and bam, I'm second. Sarah crosses the line to seal up the top three. Easy peasy. You sure I was third though? Jamon and Steven Heitman take fourth and fifth place. We got to the finish line. We probably beat him by maybe a foot at most, but you know, sometimes all you need is an inch. There's only eight riders left, but only one will move on. Cody, who's made quite the comeback after getting bucked off, is in the lead, but Keaton's blazing right behind him. Woo, be a photo finish who gets there first. Yes, sir, we're gonna have to review the tapes for this one. I never even see Keaton the whole time, and come to find out we were neck and neck at a horse race photo finish, but I know I got to the finish line first. It was so close, I give my horse his head and I'm asking for everything he's got. He's giving it to me, and I see Cody Anthony, and I knew I could catch him. All right, that was entertaining. Now, between six and seven, we had to go to the instant replay. It was that close. So, after getting bucked off. That one bucked up! Cody Anthony beat Keaton by that much. Really? You earned it, Ham. But I sure coming for your butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you six get saddled up. We'll get ready for the next leg. The rest of your spectators. All right, Cowboys, you made it to the second round. This is what the six of us have to do. We got to go down here around this left barrel, then come back, cut through, and go around the right side of this other barrel, kind of in an S pattern. And then, I mean, it's a dog fight and a horse race to the next bales of hay where we got to grab them ropes. The three Cowboys who grab those ropes first will move on to Old West Trivia. This is for the final three. Go. Buck, Steven, and Sal are taking the lead around the first barrel. Sarah, Cody, everybody's in the race. It's a tight race. Our top three are holding as they get to the second barrel. Whoa, Sarah cuts on the inside, speeding towards the left stack of hay. Buck took a wide turn. He's the only one to go to the right. Oh, there goes Sarah. She gets this first bell of hay. Sarah gets the first rope. Buck gets the second. Well, this gets me pretty excited because I've already won both rounds, and this sets me up to go get that buck on the third round. There's one rope left, and four Cowboys racing towards it. It's a race to the third one. Who's going to get the last one? Oh, he missed it. Sal misses the rope, and Steven knocks over the hay bale. Get it! Get it! Whoever gets that rope first is going to move on. Come on, he got it. We got our final Cowboy for Old West Trivia. I'm supposed to be the ultimate Cowboy. I'm tougher than anybody here. I got more grit than anybody here, and I will definitely outwit anyone here. Sarah, Buck, and Jamon are left standing and will battle for immunity. Rope. Are y'all kidding me? At the end of the day, hey, this is what we're here for. Try our best and just get gritty. OK, there's three of you left for the Old West trivia. Let's see how this turns out. Sarah, Jamon, Buck, we got three roping dummies. I'll ask you a question. Rope the dummy that you think's correct. First cowboy to get three answers right gets the outlaw spirit immunity buckle, and you're safe from elimination. I'll read the question and give you the three answers. I'll say rope, and then throw you loop. I got a lot of confidence going into round three, and now it's time to go show the judges who's here. The famous geyser Old Faithful can be found in which national park? A, Zion National Park. B, Yellowstone National Park. Or C, Grand Teton National Park. Rope. It's not even Jamon's first swing. I do mean I got whipped in the face real hard. Boy, that threw me off. You know, I hate to be that guy, but all I can think is get out in front of everybody, start swinging before they do. Nobody's going to catch you if you got a big loop. They're going to step back. Jamon, you wrote B. You sure about that? 
Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just guess. Ah uh, man, this episode of uh, Yogi the Bear. It was always hanging out in Yellowstone. That's the best reason that you were right, man. That's the point. <laughs> so right now it's zero one zero. You ready? Okay. Played by Chuck Norris, baddest man on the planet. What was the first name of Walker, Texas Ranger? A. Cordell. B. Angus. Or C. Thomas. Rope. Dang it! I did it again. <laughs> okay, Buck, you went B, Angus. Why'd you do that? Nah, I just sound right. Just guessing? Actually, it was A, Cordell. Have y'all not sit at your grandma's house and watch this a thousand times? Come on, y'all. <laughs> Next question. Which legendary country singer was often called the man in black? Was it A, Willie Nelson, B, Johnny Cash, or C. Waylon Jennings. Bro. Are y'all kidding me? Dude. <laughs> At the end of the day, hey, this is what we're here for, to try our best and just get gritty. You're sitting there getting whipped in the face and trying to rope a dummy when somebody is backing into you and throwing it off. And I knew the answer was B, Johnny Cash. We all know that. All right, so Jamon, you went with B, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. I think we all know that. All right, so Sarah's still zero. Jamon got two, Buck zero. First one to three points will win. With fewer than 600,000 residents, which U.S. state has the smallest population? A, Wyoming, B, Delaware, or C, Montana? Rope. <laughs> We light out, and what do you know? I get whipped in the face for the third time. I mean, I'm just livid about this. Whew. So, Buck, you went with C, Montana. You feel pretty good about yes, that? Sir. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Jamon went with A, Wyoming. That's right. Wyoming has the smallest population. I ain't seen but y'all. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's three points. Woo! Right? I feel good. Um, I don't know if the hat throw was appropriate, but I won. Jamon, this outlaw spirit immunity buckle goes to you today. You're safe from elimination on the next challenge. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good job. Jamon needs that immunity buckle because he has absolutely no ranching experience. What he did today, I mean, it's downright dirty. I got whipped in the face three times, and I don't care who you are, any cowboy is gonna think that's BS. But you know what? Good for him. He needs that buckle. I don't. We'll see you tomorrow morning, and we'll have another elimination challenge. What's going on, dude? Oh, not much. So what'd you think about today? Oh, I thought it was good. I mean, you know, who doesn't like a good old-fashioned horse race? Yeah. But, man, you're, you're tough as nails. You know, Sal's a one-handed cowboy, but from what I can tell, he's tougher than woodpecker lips. I had a little bit of a late start getting off that finish line, and I saw you ahead of me, and you were already there, and I'm like, holy cow, that guy got his horse saddled faster than me. You had way more gear on your saddle than I did. I mean, dude, you're as handy as they come. You know, it, nothing affects you, and I don't look at you any different than anybody else, you know? So I was born without my left hand. You know, I had a dream to be a cowboy, and I just proved to everybody that I could do it all. I just want to show the world, like, hey, look at me, I can do it. Yep. You can either let it knock you down or, or push you out of, like, motivation. yeah. Nothing's easy. You know, if, it, if it's worth it. And I tell you what, this, this lifestyle is worth it. You know, I just, I had a little girl first of July, and uh, <laughs> I, this has been the longest, I, you know, I've been away from her, and I didn't think it was gonna mess with me all that much, but uh, it does. Right now, I, uh, I just can't stop thinking about my daughter. You know, we're sacrificing a lot for this competition. You know, I'm in the same boat, and I think a lot of us are. And I know it's hard for a lot of us, and that's why 
we're here, but we're here to better our family. Absolutely. And that's what we're doing. And I'm married, I got a beautiful wife, two beautiful children, I got a little boy, he's two years old, and a, my daughter, she's seven months. I'm here to show the world that it doesn't matter what you got, it matters what you can do and how bad you really want it. You have a growing family, I have a growing family, and that's why we we really do want this. And I can see it in your eyes and I'm pretty sure you can see yeah. it in mine, but that's why we gotta be tough and really push. One at a time, take it real easy now. Hey. Whoa. Morning. 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 Yeah, boys, you're currently standing in the Laramie Mountain Range, where some of America's most sought after quarter horses are raised, right here on the Powderhorn Ranch. Now, in the movie, The Man from Snowy River, Jim Craig is able to herd dozens of horses through rough terrain when no one else can. And today, you'll be doing the same thing. There are 60 horses and colts spread out in the pasture. Each team will need to lead them down the mountain on a two-mile path through various checkpoints and into the air equip Healer Portable Corral. At the pen, there will be a list of horses that will need to be separated from the herd and loaded into the waiting trucks. 60 horses will fly at breakneck speed, so be aware of your surroundings and take care of your horses. The team that gets the horses sorted the quickest will be safe from the next elimination. Somebody from the losing team be going home. Help me out today, my old friends, Buddy Schnaufer, Cashmeyer. If we flip the coin, blue team, you're going first. Let's go. Last team challenge, it was extreme chaos. No, uh, I say you drive them to the pen and you sort them there because they're going to want to stand right there. We can't have them in the pen. I said drive to the pen and sort them out and then drive the blue cattle into the pen. Absolutely not. So we really have to pull it together and show Trace that we're not a bunch of gunsels out there. Got it. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. How many of y'all have gathered in dingle horses in the mountains? The blue team's up first. They're down a man because they lost the last elimination challenge. Shut the gate! Shut this gate! Again, Stephen Yellowtail makes the first plan, putting himself forward as the team leader. I think we take them at a trot. It's not like pushing cows, it's almost the opposite. And so, Eddie, when you're in the back, don't push on them. Okay. Just keep so nothing's kind of looking off and, and wanting to drift off. The time we get there with them, it's a pretty good trot. Yeah, they ought to be a little tired. Main thing, we just keep these horses safe. We get them there and everyone just gets the job done. I think they might have had a little team discussion last night and said, hey, let's don't do that again. All right, blue team, everybody knows what we're doing. We call this the man from Snowy River. What are my horses doing in the boiler pasture? I need them in the corral. Go get them. All right, points, the rest of them. After the conversation here, they got a good chance to have a, have a good showing right here. Stay high, but head towards them. These are herd animals. They all want to kind of stick together, so when you get one off by their sith or being a little wild, you bring the rest of those horses over there, kind of calm everything down. They're going to be bringing them along that fence, I think. So as we're heading down the mountain, I'm taking lead. Wait for me, wait for me. And our teammates, they're working really good. Everyone's listening to each other and working towards the common goal. Actually, you want to come behind us? Yeah, take out that other side. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. You bet. Blue team has their 60 horses, and they're ready to take them down the path to the corral. First stop, Crossing Perry Creek at the bottom of the gorge. One at a time. Take it real easy now. Yep. Yep. Get up there. Hey, push it, push it, push it. Perfect right there, Chris. That's a pretty sight. 
Cowboys running horses through this beautiful country. Hey, kids. Easy. So I'm Native American. I'm part of the Crow tribe. I grew up in a, in a lifestyle that, you know, honors and respects everything around us. You know, from the trees to the rivers to the rocks, the mountains, the air, the wind. Every spring, we trail 200 head of horses, 111 miles through open country. Three years ago, I, I turned down a chance to use my engineering degree and a chance at a safe six-figure job um, to take over my family's ranch. I'm in my third year of, of cattle ranching and being the owner-operator of Yellowtail Cattle Company. The market's been tough and we've, we've been plagued with, with drought and fire and, you know, my, my profits have been taken away. Winning these $50,000 worth of cattle would change my life. I've got the most amazing girlfriend, Chelsea, you know, back home. We've been together for three years and, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to pop the question to her. And, you know, winning $50,000 worth of cattle, you know, that gives me a little wiggle room and maybe I can get that ring that she wants. Let's just send them up. Run up and get hey. the gate. Watch him yell down. <laughs> the horses are going at a high speed, but the gate at their next checkpoint is closed. If they want to keep this pace up, somebody needs to hustle up and get that gate open. Run up and get the gate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chris didn't make it in time for the horses to go through, so the blue team will have to stop right here, round the horses up again, costing them a lot of time. We'll just hold them right here. They'll settle. You good? Yep, I'm gonna start through them. Cody, come to the front with me. Yeah. Go on, take them out. Let's go, let's go. Go ahead, Chris. Come on now, Chris was the last one through the gate and he left it wide open. That's Cowboy 101. You leave the gate the way you found it. Chris, you wanna kick up and check the next gate? Hustle back though. You bet, sir. Sounds good. Easy, easy. Cody, come up front. I opened every gate because I was leading the horses. You can say it however you want. Man opens a gate, he shuts a gate. Well, we're on a drive. We couldn't stop what we was doing and go back. Coy, 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 coy. Oh, 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 oh. You don't need to shut the gate. They didn't close that gate either. Had the foresight to send somebody to open the gate. Yep, correct. But then they didn't close the no, gate. Sir. No, you know. And what's the rule? You leave it like you found it. You leave it like Since you found it. Since you're three years old, you know that one. <laughs> and they didn't close either one of those gates. They got their horses down into the long meadows. Next stop is the air equipped portable corral. Hey, somebody ride in to get the gate. Get the gates, Cody. We'll hold them here. Whoa. Easy. You guys ready? Yes, sir. We'll just ease them at a walk if we can. Come on up, Sarah. You can just ride straight under there with them. Easy. All right, guys, there's a buckskin gilding and a flea bitten gray right there up top and a little bay mare, no white on her. We need those three caught and traded yeah, up okay, for us. Yes, sir. Last step, get the three horses roped and loaded on the trailer for time to stop. Good job by Cody. Steven Yellowtail got a rope on the second one. Hey, y'all get another rope in here. Good job right there. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Let her calm down. Chris needs to be calm and careful right here. This horse has never had a rope on it before. Just grab her. Just be easy with her. Looks like we got the trailer set and ready to go. Right to the trailer. Now we got to get the ropes off and door shut. Someone needs to come up here and be behind them right here. Right. Her, 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 just slam it. Just slam it. Good. Nice. Nice work. I'm feeling really good. Our team works so good together. I am so proud of everyone. Everyone came together, was respectful, and trusted one another. And I think we did really, really well. All he did was just sit there and run his mouth and run his mouth and tell everybody else what to do. Hey! Hey! The green team really showed out in the last elimination challenge, and we'll see if they can keep their winning streak going. 
we're in the beautiful Laramie mountain range and you know, we get to go gather horses today. This is awesome. I tell you, man, I'm excited. Let's get our, yeah. where we're gonna be set up at, who's riding point, keep going from there. I'd say you need to be at point. For this challenge, they all wanted me in the yep. lead. I'm just doing the best I can to keep them all together. Yeah, what's our plan for the gate down here? Yeah. Every checkpoint, we will stop. We will take a pause, just like the old style school of moving cows. You don't go through a gate moving. You stop before the gate, then you use through the gate. I'm Kevin Boss from Texas Panhandle. That's where all the big cowboys come from. That's where they hold the uh, ranch rodeo finals every year. Coming into this competition as a grandpa, a lot of these youngins think they're just gonna walk right over and get it done, do this, do that. But it took a little years to be able to understand how to work different cattle in different terrain. My wife, Mindy, she means the absolute world to me. She's actually giving me back life. She's the one person that makes me want to be a better person, one that makes me do better. A lot of people say that uh, they're scared of their wife or whatnot. Well, well, I guess I am scared, but not in that way. I'm scared to let her down. That is my biggest fear, to let her down, not to be the man she wants me to be. And when I win this competition, and I will, when I bring these cattle home to my grandkids, it's gonna mean the world to me, it's gonna mean the world to them, it'll mean, it'll mean the world to a whole lot of other people. All right, green team, y'all ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. Get all them horses down there in Boiler Pasture. Thought I told y'all to get them to corral this morning. Go get them. Step one, round up their 60 horses and get on the path down the mountain. Just come around, boss. I'm right behind you, brother. How many you got, boss? I mean, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like last time, Diamond's plan seems to be working. They split up and they were able to gather their 60 horses in no time. Go on, Jamon, take them on. Yeah, good. Hush, 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 hush. Cowboy, we are roughed on. Let's move them. Just like that, guys. Keep them tight. Yeah, don't look like having any trouble. You got this part, Sal. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Hey, hey, Blackie, hey, Blackie. You got a problem right here. Diamond Jim, don't see it. Holy cow, we. Hey. One black and white horse takes off right past Buck, and now the herd is following it in the wrong direction. Tom and Jim ain't got to follow him. No, no, we got a big man. So as we were starting those horses out, there's a paint mare in there. She was really rude and really pushy. She was what caused the blowout when we very first started because she was pushing on me, and I was trying to just keep them horses bent around and go right into Jim. And Back down the hill. Hey. Get that was a great job by Keaton to turn the herd around right there. I knew, fill the gaps, hold my spot. There was at least four or five times that the horses would have cut, and I made my move, and I kept them in there. Go on with them. Yes, sir. Go yes, on. sir. Yes, sir. Up, up, up. Up way. We're coming back towards me to go around it, right? Okay, we had to go back up, get them, bring them back down where we started from again, settle them. Then we were able to start going. All right. Well, you say we do it just like this before every little deal we got to go through. Hold yes, her. Control them. Walk Control. them down. Let's yes, go sir. It. This is a timed event, and I've never heard of anybody trying to hold horses up like cattle to get a hand on them. Right now, we need to hurry. Keep them moving. Push up on that rear end a little. Diamond, get back here and let's push these suckers across, because that paint horse is leading. But Diamond's wanting to slow them down and hold them up. You gotta make sure they can't go outside that flag. <laughs> to your right, Diamond! I'm gonna use the fence, Kibble. I basically got told, yeah, I know, I know. And it's a little frustrating. Hey! Yep, you take it. Hey, 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 hey! Get my back, get my back! Go around. Okay, this checkpoint's right over this hill. It's good, we're good. We're gonna hold them right here, we're good. And they're gonna ride on this road, though. We're good. <laughs> All right, dude. No, 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 no. Them not hearing me is very frustrating. However, in this situation, I decided just to let it play out because I have the immunity buckle. I really can't lose on this. They're wanting to leave. I hate to say it. We might want to get ahead there and get that gate open. Oh, man, I agree. Boy, I'm fixing to have me a... You know, I respect that young man's ambition. I respect his uh, go get him attitude. But when you don't know, come here from Sikkim, and you're sitting there trying to feed a man like me a freaking pile of gravy, all he, all he did was just sit there and run his mouth and run his mouth and tell everybody else what to do. And I look up and he's in his diff he's in a different spot. Funnel them to me, kibbles, and we'll walk them out. 
Hey, hey. They need to make up some time somewhere. We'll see how fast they get through this gate. Buck, I can open this gate horseback off him, but if we'll yes, get sir. Steven to slow down and quit trying to rush up here, we'll be better. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I got your back. Steven, sit right here. I'm the youngest guy here. That's been happening to me for a long time. And I'm here for a reason. Hey, we shut that gate? Yeah, we shut that gate. No, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, no. How we find it, how we leave it. Yes, sir, let's go to Walton. Diamond Jim's leading them to their final gate before the portable corral. Gate's right there, we'll just try to hold them here before we cross that one. I think it was great that we were able to hold these horses up at each gate, but it's like holding water. They're gonna look for the path of least resistance. And when you hold up and you hold up and you hold up, they're gonna start milling around in there. Hey, how about the old head done? Play bank done. They're gonna push those down? They're a running. Hey! Hey! Is there somebody over there hey! to make sure nothing turns back? Hey! We were trying to tell Diamond, hey, we're having a little bit of trouble. You're turning these horses. And he just wanted to tell us how, you know, this is how I do. Hey, we need somebody to get to them portables and get them center gates open. All right, Steven. If you want, take the lead. If it's you after it, go on. Okay. And Diamond, I think that having go you ahead, help. Go ahead, You got it. Either me or Buck are smart enough to do it. He wants to y'all, y'all, me? You know, maybe it's about time that boy got some act right. Ooh. Situational awareness is key to moving horses and doing this kind of work. And I think he should have read the situation a little bit better. He wants to run his horse some more, let him. I don't know what to tell you. Time will dang sure mature you, and it's gonna need to happen quick. Get ready, here they come. <laughs> we're all right, we're all right, we're all right. All right, guys, you guys got them gathered. There's a big bay with a streak face, a big solid red dun in there, and a solid saw, big horse. All three of them need caught and loaded on that trailer. So I got the first one found. Sal's got him roped. Buck ropes the second one. Jamon got the third. They really made up for some good time here. Right to the trailer. Now they got to get in the trailer and get the ropes off. They ought to be able to load right here pretty easy. Oh, sir. Ready for the next one, guys? Yes, sir. Come on. Ready for the next one. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Good work. Hold on, hold on. Door shut. Ah, we're done. Time. That's one of my pet peeves. You leave the gate while you found the gate. I'm going to dock you 10 minutes a gate. Don't ever do that again. Yes, sir. Ain't no feeling like driving horses. Yeah. I'll tell you. Got a little hairy at times, but I tell you what, that Diamond Jim up there. That's some good stuff. As far as us as the green team goes, a very strong person would be Diamond. And I tell you what, Diamond is a great hand. Appreciate y'all. I just, it took every single one of us and y'all having faith about where I put you and how we got it done. And man, it, there wasn't a one here that didn't make that deal happen right. Tonight's another elimination. I'm not nervous, not even worried, not even spooked. I've got no doubts in the ones that's on my team. Until they prove me otherwise, I got their back and they got mine. Thank you all. Very much thank you all. It's my yeah, pleasure. Yes, sir. Both blue and green team were nervous. No one knows how each other did. We've, none of us have had a chance to talk to each other. Unfortunately, if we lose, I was the man at the top the entire time. I was the leader. I, I you know, I'm shaking right now, and, and I'm curious to see what Trace has to say about how we did. There was a little bit of more frustration than what I expected on our team today. I'm not gonna say there was a clear worst, and I'm not gonna say there was a clear best. I feel like going into this, we really needed to be successful in whatever we did because there's been a little bit of tension between my team and I. And, you know, kind of feel like I have a target on me, so I don't want to go into elimination today being on the chopping block. All right, Cowboys. It was a good day. 
Watch your mind. Keep one to the first immunity buckle, and you're safe from elimination. Go sit on the fence. Congratulations, man. Thank you. All right. So let's get into it. Green team, how you feel like you did? I feel like we went the opposite direction of what Diamond said we needed to do today. I worked my butt off. And I tell you, you know, I could have done a better job, but I put my guts into it. Blue team. To have a group of guys that have never wrangled horses in their life do as good as they did, I couldn't be prouder of them. If you go through a gate and it's closed, do you close it behind you or do you leave it open? We was already too far to send someone back. Uh, you know, there's a lot going on. You know, we was worried about where we needed to be. Didn't want to screw it up. Let me uh, ask, was there cows in that field when y'all went out there and got those horses? Yes, sir. Where you reckon those cows are now? Probably in the back field. But you don't know? No, sir. Because you left the gate open? Yes, sir. That's one of my pet peeves. Yes, sir. Everybody learns that early on. You leave the gate while you found the gate. I'm going to dock you 10 minutes a gate. Don't ever do that again. Yes, sir. I don't know who's going to win this thing. I know who did it faster. Green team, you did it in 82 minutes. Blue team, you did it in 55 minutes. But because of the 20-minute penalty for Gates, you still beat them <sighs> by seven minutes. Go sit on the fence. All right, there's six of you here. One of you's going home. All right, there's six of you here. One of you's going home. At the very beginning, who took charge? Diamond. 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 Yes, sir. I asked them if that's what they wanted, and that's what they wanted me to do. So whose fault is it that you were almost 30 minutes longer than the blue team? Steven, you drop a man off in his hole, he fills that hole. I, you know uh, how many times that boy was out of this hole today? I can't count that many. He told me one time to stay in my hole. No, sir. I hate to say it, and Diamond, I got a lot of respect for you. I think you're a good leader. But Diamond's plan was to hold him up to make sure that we had a control on him. But we stopped him, got him gathered back up, and then we wanted to backtrack him. And he told us we wanted he wanted to bring him back and then get another restart at it. So. Um, Honestly, uh, I think that that part of the plan was what got us. You know, you gotta go through them gates. You gotta hold up a second so you can shut a gate. You did close the gate, thank you. But then once you got through the gate, you held them up again and you just sat there. And I was sitting on my horse just going, what are you doing? This is a timed event. The only two people that I heard say, let's get these horses moving was Steven and Juman. Go sit on the fence. Thank you, sir. Diamond, you got anything you want to say? Yes, sir. Sure do. You know, it was a horse race right off the bat because they would string out and run to the hills. That's why I asked them, let's just yo-yo just a little bit, just a little bit to see if we can contain them. I can understand you slowing him down here and there, but this is a competition. Look, do you think that that plan that y'all went out there, you, that you went down that ridge with, was a good plan? I thought it was a really good plan. We did it. Blue team, I don't think these guys got any respect for y'all. I think they thought they could just dilly-dally around out there all day long, and they're still going to beat you. Sure sounds like it. And we were one man short. And you were one man short. It got to where it was painful to watch. I knew that y'all were behind them, and I just didn't see any urgency. And I wanted somebody to step up and go, let's go, let's go. Keaton, who ought to go home? A lot of it falls on Diamond's shoulders. You know, he's our elder. We looked to him, and he made the plan. You know, we all rode really, really hard today. I know you did. And it, it was a tough group of horses. <sighs> Diamond did come up with a plan. Buck, I hate to say it, I respect you, but if your head was a little more on a swivel, I think we could have handled that a little better. Buck, okay. we ought to go home. I cannot say who should go home. You better.
I can't, Trace. I'm, I did you not better. see it. Buck, this is between you and Diamond. And I really want to let you go. You got enough backbone. But it was your plan, Diamond. This was a timed competition. Yes, sir. Your plan to stop those horses at every one of those checkpoints was the wrong plan. Well. Because you got beat by 30 minutes. Yes, sir. That's what beat you. We had so, to have control. We never so, had control. So. Mm. And I can't have control when I got to constantly put a gentleman back in his spot. Diamond, nobody questions you sand. But you're done here. Gotta be personal. Sounds good. Good man. That's the unwritten code right there. I was the one guy who stood behind the whole team. I might be going home, America, but you know what? It's all good. I get to go home, see the love of my life, see my greens. Yes. Guys. <clears throat> man, I'm upset. Diamond did not have to tell me multiple times to stay in my hole. Them horses were going to run right by that side, and I was going up there to back him up and he shut it down in front of me. I had no reaction time. Yeah, we all have our own strengths. And yes. we haven't got to show those strengths because we have been really putting all of our cards in Diamond's hand to come up with the plan. We were all riding really, really hard. We were all trying to do our job. We had a bad day. We're gonna learn from it. Yeah. We're gonna move on. Sounds we're good. gonna be better. They just sent Diamond Jim home. Green teams at each other's throat. Everybody done called everybody out standing there in front of Trace. And you know what? I'm fixing to put all that into that pot and stir it on up. This big wooden spoon is gonna get everything start to bubble. If you say you're gonna follow a man, you follow him all the way till the end. And that's straight disrespect to that man's face, and he knows more about this than half of y'all will ever know. And the sad thing about that is, y'all don't care. Y'all sat down there and cowered down and had the weakest backbone I've ever seen around people. I'm sticking with what I said. It's already hot. Let's bring her up to a boil, boys. What did you say out there? I said the leader. The leader? Yeah. Why him? You followed him. OK. You understand they did. when you follow yeah, somebody, understand. you follow him. And I stuck with the plan. Whatever he said, do I do. I said, yes, sir. Nobody's going to call me a coward or no backbone to my face and get away with it. If was... that man would have told me to jump off a cliff, I'd have done it. Yeah, he and you would have done it. Go when you got in there, y'all, let's send him home, because this well, is all his fault. I did all my part, so it ain't my fault. No one else here slacked off. I'm in all of them's head right now. Big boy didn't like it when I got up in there in his face. But guess what, man? I ain't backing down from nothing. But if I'd have stuck in there, I wouldn't have said, oh, man, that he had a bad plan from the get-go. It was all on him. We followed him, did what he wanted to do. But yet here we are. We're here in the bottom now. You got anything else you want to say? Oh.